Welcome to a nutritious dish in a matter of minutes. I'm Jennifer Wood, your local dietitian on wheels. I'm here today at Winona Volunteer Services to talk to you about basil. Basil is an herb that is a member of the mint family. It is most commonly found in Italian dishes like bruschetta or pizza, and it's the main ingredient in pesto. Basil is fragrantly sweet with a slight tea-like scent. Basil has uniform green color and smooth leaves that are about two inches long. However, there are many different types of basil with varying colors and flavors such as lemon basil, sweet basil, and Thai basil. Basil is really easy to grow here in Minnesota and I always get an abundance with very little effort. To select good basil, choose deep green leaves without dark spots or yellowing. The best way to store basil is quite the debate. According to some studies, it keeps longer when stored loosely in a plastic bag in the crisper drawer of the refrigerator than it does storing it on the counter in a jar of water covered with a plastic bag. But other studies swear by the countertop method, so you may want to try both methods and see what works best for you. So what about nutrition? Not only does basil add amazing flavor to your foods, it also has some great health benefits. Basil is rich in vitamins A and K, as well as flavonoids that act like an antioxidant. Basil leaves contain some important minerals such as potassium, copper, magnesium, and iron. Basil leaves have essential oils that have anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. So whether you're growing your own basil or purchasing it at the market, once you have a bunch of fresh basil leaves, why not make some fresh pesto? To make fresh pesto, you will need three cups of fresh basil leaves, one and a half cups of chopped walnuts or pine nuts, three cloves of garlic or to taste, a fourth of a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, and about three quarters of a cup of olive oil, but you can add more if needed. You'll also need a little salt and pepper to taste. You'll start by blending together the basil leaves along with the nuts and the garlic in a blender or you can use a food processor. And I typically use fresh garlic rather than the jarred garlic, garlic for this so it has better flavor. Then you just add some salt and pepper to taste and then blend that in there as well. Then you'll place it in a pretty dish and there you have it, a nutritious dish in a matter of minutes. I'm Jennifer Wood, your local dietitian on wheels. Join us here at Winona Volunteer Services on September 9th for our free class called Managing and Preventing Diabetes. You can call 507-452-5591 for more information and to register. You can find this recipe and more at nutritiousdish.com or find this recipe at hbci.com slash tv25 slash news.